What is it with people in competitions? Why must there be a competition about this and that? And why do I always have to prove that I'm better than the rest? Isn't it obvious already? The latest crazy competition is about cities. As if I didn't revolutionize city building years ago. Ha! I guess I will have to show them not to mess with El Presidente yet again. You tell them El Presidente, hop, oh, and all the architects. We don't need those scum. So, let's see. Difficulty is at 157%. Doesn't seem like it'll be too difficult in terms of all these disasters, which always screw us over. Finally, Fidel Castro is charismatic. So, all tropical factions like us a little bit more. We're a patriot, of course. The Cuban people, 20 or 20 plus nationalist faction support, and uh, tropical born citizens also like us. And of course, we're an alcoholic, and uh, the USSR really tend to love us. Although, the religious faction supposedly doesn't like people that are alcoholics, although I'm sure the priests, etc., they, of course, they were the ones that lobby us for more alcohol. So, Presidente, why do you not talk, Sunny Flowers? The most beautiful city, the most joyous occasion is upon us, and I am not talking about the crossing between Venus and Uranus, <laughs> which happens once every 27,000 years. That's pretty crazy if true. There is a competition for the most beautiful city in the world. We should definitely enter. All the cool green cities are doing it. If we, if I think, I think if we gather about 3,000 city points, we might even be in the top five. Penultimo has promised to tell you how city points work. Objective, gather 1,000 city points. Penultimo will explain how city points work in front of the palace. Okay. Oh, all right. I was wondering why the hell is there not, not like anything, not even a palace all the way over here. So that's Penultimo. Should we even listen to him? I think we should. Uh, firstly, of course, let's do the good old check the overlay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. who's your daddy? Look at that. Two mine sites and iron right next to us. That one's kind of in a bad place. It's Who would have thought of that? Like, it's over our damn palace. But what am I clicking on? Let's go back to natural resources. All metals. Okay, we've got another iron site here. A bit of gold. Another bit of iron. Oh, well, that's iron. We've already seen that. Wow. So I think we'll go with weapons factories yet again. You guys might be wondering why I just keep on building so many mines. It's I think it's due to my Australian upbringing. After all, in Australia, our economy revolves around mining and digging crap up off the ground and selling it to other countries so they can pollute their own world. ET or EG machine. Well, let's go ahead and toss Penultimo though. Presidente, do not be alarmed. I managed at great personal risk to obtain the official rules of how city points are awarded. Oh damn, this is going to be confusing. We better refer to this multiple times. So I managed to pull some strings so we can get some citizens and homes for them cheap. So let's see what gives us the most points. Seven points for each citizen who has a job and a home. Okay, so the most important is just for them to have jobs and, well, jobs and homes. I guess it makes sense. So we have zero citizens with no job or home and five citizens with either a job or home and 45 citizens with both job and home. It doesn't look like it'd be that difficult. It is nice that we can refer to this multiple times. Okay. So I think we better start off. Firstly, we've just lost about, oh, $310. But what we want is go to food and resources, mine. How should I build this mine? Can't really straighten it up. Oh, I just do it like that. And build another mine right up on over here. Oh damn, there's a f the, the farms are right next to the mines. Who thought of that is definitely not a genius. Anyway, connect this up to a road, because it's not. And it needs to be. I'll also what should I go for? I think a customs office? Or immigration office, excuse me. What am I clicking on? <laughs> Immigration office, $2,500. That's dirt cheap. I do seem to have some type of weird fetish for placing immigration officers right next to the dock. Sound like right over here, we can. There's like a sound glitch. I don't know. In Tropico 4 in the original game, you could hear really weird sounds like volcanoes, etc., in certain parts of the map. I could hear the water spray. Oh, there we go. Here. Sort of. There we go. 
anyway, now we've got immigrants for sale. Let's get back down to business. I probably should speed things up as well. Uh, let's check out these mines. They are being built. Okay, both of them. And the immigration offices as well. So they'll be creating a bit of money. So I'll be exporting some stuff. I wouldn't mind a bit of fish for the people. So let's go for a fisherman's wharf. I am happy to be here among our brothers in Tropico to spread the light of communism for future generations. Yes, yes, this is good and all, but really, I want to know how you got that gorgeous hair. All right, shut up over the radio. So we've got Yu Lee, his first appearance in all his DLC. So, honorable leader, in order to become a great city, you need great people. We have some for sale, only now, very cheap, high quality. Please choose one of your our auspicious packages. High quality, extra durable immigrants, extremely competent and wise sages, and heaven and earth combo. $7,000, 20 immigrants, and two convent conventillos for free. Oh, sounds like uh, New Lee's promoting some condom brands or something. Extremely competent and wise sages is $8,000, but we'll get 30 college educated, skilled immigrants. Now that's useful. Although I won't have any money to do anything with those college educated people. So I think I'll just settle for... Ah, <laughs> oh, it's tempting. I think I'll go for the conventillos because... Well, we'll get 20 people, and but we'll have two conventillos for free. So let's go build them. Thankfully it even says free, so you know the game's working properly. That should be all good. We've built the immigration office. I think I'll go for a school next up. That's after I get a couple of people in here. Okay, we are playing at full speed. Is We're not making any money. No one seems to be coming in. This better be set on open doors, and it is. Okay, this seems like it's very good. 15,000 and 30,000. This is 30,000. Wow, very nice. Okay, it seems like there's some people coming in uh, to the jobs, so that's going to be good for how much money we'll be making. So, oh, it sucks that our debt seems to be going up. Not quite happy about that. Although, if this ship is going to... No, we're not going to make a recovery. Yeah, here come, there's a fair amount of new people. 30 new immigrants, pretty much. So at least they'll have new homes to go to. That's not going to be a worry. Currently short on cash. Penultimo, what is your stance on the situation? I blame you, Sonny, by refusing to date me. You are blocking the economy. Oh, all right then. Is eight o'clock tomorrow okay? People these days. What is this? They're all whale dolphins or something. They're definitely dolphins. They're jumping about. Weird animals they are. We just always play it on such a zoomed out level, we barely see him, but for whatever reason, now we see him, now we don't. See him, now we don't. It's not really the cloud though, is it? it? Must be. Whatever it is, it's extremely interesting. Okay. Doesn't seem like there's any volcanoes as well, so the only thing that could really get us into trouble is a tsunami, but I'd love to see a tsunami come through here because there's a massive island blocking us and it's protecting us really well. I think you can check out an overlay. I think it'd be in island conditions and tsunami hit area. So we, oh wow, everything here is fair game for this. Oh, absolutely everything is fair game. Sense it makes none. It's only this area. It's surprising that a tsunami can even reach this area, but okay. I'm gonna take it as it comes on the chin. People are starving. Uh, now, I don't think you need a marketplace. Wait, where are we? Green resources. A marketplace distributes food from farms and wharves to the population. I never actually thought you needed a marketplace. Like, there's many missions where I just completely neglect having one of them. But I might as well get one now. It just doesn't make sense for me to have a marketplace because usually I just think it's... I think it's a lot uh, more inefficient for people to eating straight from the fisherman's wharf but anyway at least we've got a marketplace i don't think it makes too much of a difference 
And hopefully there'll be less people now, hopefully, dying from starvation. Now, we need a couple of homes since the Conventilos have gone away to do that. We just need to create more jobs, jobs, jobs. What do you guys think about that? I think that's a good idea. Now, let's build another iron mine. Like, see, I could build another one here. I think that's because this is 30,000. Yeah, it's probably smartest just to build another one. I'll build the road out like that. So I'll be able to, like, sneak in some tenements very cheekily in this little strip. And this way we'll have two mines working on that 30,000 resource quantity of iron. Peace okay. and love. Angry eco activists. I'm not really too fussed about them. I think we need a lot more housing, though. I think I'll wait it out on that, though. Let's go for industry. No, let's not go for industry. Let's go for education and a high school. You can't go wrong with a high school. Having educated masses is never a bad thing. There's lots of ants just walking around. Some of them want doctors, and I think I'll give them that. Soon, at least. You already can be restored. That doesn't make much sense. You're only just built. And then again, we are playing quite fast. We'll increase overall happiness for city points. Increase the overall happiness by 5%. Easy. Although 50% happiness is, well, it's challenging. And it's already gone. <laughs> overall happiness increase, minus one. Okay, it's just a way to get, really. We just need to create a much better economy. Right, I will stop importation to 500. Well, I'll keep it to 500. Assassinating El Presidente, right? I will not kill Presidente again. 100 times. Damn right, you better be writing, I will not kill El Presidente again 100 times. Miss Pineapple def definitely loves her spanking, though. For whatever reason. It's a heck of a lot of food. So it doesn't seem like our people will have a problem with it. Food quality seems to be okay. 64. We're outputting quite a bit. And food is always free in Tropico. I'm just surprised that rent's not always free. But education is, so... You can't really make money from education. See? Which I'd imagine would be quite a good uh, thing to... At least a gameplay mechanic, like... Increasing the wages so the job quality increases, and then your yeah, teacher's skill increases. It all makes sense to me, at least. Then you'd be able to import some uh, tourists. Or educational tourists, shall, shall we say, or visitors. Okay, so we're exporting a fair amount of goods now. That would mean I'll have just enough money to pay for the blueprints. I'll still need $15,000. Oh, Cuba goes red. Double foreign aid from the USSR. Okay. That's new. That's pretty good as well. Uh, so that puts us right in line to get that weapons factory. A bit prematurely as well. Very prematurely. But let's go get that. Might, might be able to squeeze another one facing this way where all those houses are. But I was going to build a doctor's or what are they called? A clinic. Doctor's office. Same thing. So hopefully the double foreign aid from the USSR lasts a little while. Our happiness has moved up to one point now. Just as I say that it went down. We'll just need to provide more housing. Uh, so, I think tenements are the way to go. And see which way is the best way. Okay. Two tenements is going to be good enough. We don't want any more because we can't even get them anymore. Okay, what are the relations with all the factions? They seem to love me. Apart from the religious ones and... The loyalists, not all too much, but that'll improve. So it's overall 66%. Foreign relations, we're in debt. Okay. Once we'll be out of debt, the US will like us once again. 
hell is that? That's just a random bin. After all, schools don't really produce anything. I've had a too close of a look at all this graffiti. Definitely, you've, you've got a Tropican or a maybe Cuban vibe from here. Definitely. Clearly, that's what pretty much this game is based on, but... Definitely has that feel in terms of the art style. The graffiti on the walls and so... Rollo. Almecan de Mayoros. Interesting language. Okay. Very interesting language. And then again, they speak Spanish. Okay, so we've got our weapons factory and our high school should be pumping out students. Which would mean that there'll be more workers in the weapons factory, which would in turn mean more money for us. Aren't I just an evil genius? <laughs> Yeah, we've got a criminal, we're exporting things, so I think it's time for a clinic. Where exactly shall we place him though? Here. Yeah, I'm not going to quick build anything because one, I can't afford it, and two, it's not necessary. How's our teams is going? And the garage. Hopefully people are coming and getting cars from garages though. Look around, President. Okay. They are we're getting a lot of money from the USSR. That's definitely helping us out. Back down to minus one. So I think we'll really have to Yeah, improve the happiness by five just to complete this. But right now, just like as all Chobican levels that we've played, we're just making money. That's what we're focusing on mainly. And oh that sucks. I'm not going to be able to squeeze it in here. It's like a couple of pixels that is screwing us over. Okay, how about if I do it like that? I just want to get rid of the houses. There we go. How can people possibly complain about that? Now, I've got a doctor, preventative medicine. And after a visit, a patient will need healthcare 20% less often. So when you have preventative medicine, it's probably the best to just to build it early and that effect would last on for the whole game. Six new immigrants. Hopefully they take up housing in the tenements. Also probably should expand or expand these roads. And I'll just join it up there. Yeah. Okay. Now hopefully I did not build over any overlays or overlays but natural resources okay. okay so this is iron bits quantity left let's check out average skill of minus 11 percent not really sure what that means but quantity left is 56 thousand that's a lot and there's four deposits there's three right next to us immigrants for sale oh so this continual this always lasts right What's other services then? No immigrants for you? Fine, fine. Plenty other things to sell. Very cheap. Please choose one of our of our other auspicious packages. Oh, this is quite handy. Okay, dim sum. Ten dollars for five city points. Uh, I just settle for nothing. You just waste my time and then pick nothing. You are bad for business. Next time, buy something. Yes, sir. Well, next time I will try to buy something. Wow. All workers are actually going to work on one building. That's a first. They're all always so lazy. Look at these bastards. Building up on a mine site. Yeah. yeah, but another weapons factory won't go wrong. There seems like there's a lot of iron coming into here. So hopefully this will speed the process up. And we are producing a lot of high school educated workers. That's also a big help. And yeah, we're getting some criminals. All bad news. Now, you want us to build a ministry? I think I'd rather just improve the happiness of the people. So, firstly, let's improve housing happiness. Maybe with a couple of apartment blocks. Firstly, I need a bit of money. Damn.
Okay, well, the year's gonna tick over any moment now, which will mean more money. We're still at, well, 44% happiness. It just keeps on dawdling there. Thereabouts. Oh. Just gave me a mission and then it's saving. Comrade Too many shacks. Okay. I will get rid of those shacks. Don't you worry. The US really don't, doesn't like me. That'll change though. Secret police proposal. I will have to decline. What we'll get is some apartment blocks. I'll try to get like two. Maybe even a third one? No. They're not allowing us to get that much. Okay, next up, I think I'll go for a... I don't know. Should I go for a power plant or just wind power? That's definitely quite a conundrum. I just want to get rid of these shacks, and that's what we're trying to do. So that will, in turn, increase happiness. It's gone down to minus two. I might just have to bribe the other guys for $20,000. I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it, do all this. Oh. I'll set you on open doors. Go with Tropico first, so nobody can come in. Some people are protesting. Oh, and we're down to minus three. Yes, the only way that really that we can get out of this conundrum is by the $20,000 option, really. At least that's the only foreseeable way that I can see finishing this. Is, let's see other services uh, I need say I need about 450 yes yeah, so, yeah okay I'll buy two unofficial bribes and I'll just finish off with dim sums thankfully the Chinese ambassador doesn't seem to be too angry with us I'll need a bit of a police station but I'm just going to keep making that money. Bastards, bastards everywhere. Interesting gameplay mechanic, those city points. Not really the best, I wouldn't say. I'm kind of, I don't know. These missions are interesting. They're not your average uh, Tropico missions that you'd come to know and expect. They're definitely different. They're, they're more of a challenge. So instead of creating their own like a megalopolis campaign, they gave us the one mission to complete and a couple of extra buildings. In this time, in this uh, mission, a uh, conventillo, which doesn't really live up to the name of a megalopolis, <laughs> a crime safety. I will be improving that. There we go. That's a bit more like it. So I guess the ship just took all my exports and we just managed to get paid in the same month. Yeah, seems like it. Okay, so now we're starting to export a lot more. Oh, that's beautiful. We've got a lot of these workers. So let's go to infrastructure, power plant. Now, a wind turbine. Okay, power plant it is. So we're going to be back in debt. What would you like? The tropical youth is on the Don't board. want to indoctrinate mm. my people. If you're fifteen, thousand dollars, I think it was, not fifteen. You can definitely forget that. I could care less about Europe. I'm both in the real world and in Tropico. After all, Tropico is supposedly in the Caribbean. What does Europe have to do with these bastards? I don't know. Okay, so that's going to put us back into the black, albeit quite precariously. I'm not going to go for a college just yet. I'll wait it out. I'll need a couple more houses, but I think they'll have to wait out. There's no way I can justify that to myself, but with the power, then I'll be able to upgrade the weapons factories and then you're laughing. Like, we'll be making too much money. Like in the previous episode. So all we've got to do is just build it up and then we'll worry about all the other crap later on. Uh, for all this is, it's basically just money. But of course power is the most important thing because it increases production by 20%. 
whereas nothing else really improves the production or efficiency of our workers apart from power so we need a couple of what is it robots or something heavy machinery sort of yeah fish stocks are dying out there's still plenty of them it is weird it goes out all around these like it's supposed to end here I think this is the end of yeah this is the end of the map pretty cool yeah we brought in 68 dollars worth of food Twenty-five thousand dollars worth of Tropican goods have been exported. Uh, firstly, what should I do? Should I finish off the mission or just do this? I think I'll just do this first. Yeah, that's good enough. At least production capacity has been increased a lot more. USSR is not giving us anywhere near as much money as before. So I will go with open doors once again. I'll go for housing tenements. One, two. So it seems like that's all the builders will be working, so hopefully some of them get to that. Oh god. An earthquake. A garage, the tenement, and apartment over, block. Presidente. That's not too bad. We've got a bit of extra money as well. So rebuild, rebuild. And rebuild. That costs us a lot of money and a down in negative numbers once again it didn't last long no did it i think next because we'll have so much money i'll just go finish off the city points we'll see if we can finish this off in one episode if we can't i'll try to split it up into two i don't like splitting it up into three parts because then the third part is usually only like a couple of minutes long and i've got to try to procrastinate a bit so it's not too short forty thousand dollars yeah We'll definitely finish all this. I might as well even just buy that while we're at it. Hopefully someone will come up here in time. Although they have to walk though, don't they? Hopefully they get there in time before the ship leaves. Bit of a boo-boo if they don't. Oh man. Fifty thousand dollars. Here we come. Okay, 37, but that's decent. Now, let's go ahead and other services. Let's just get the 1,000 city points. That's just complete overkill, but okay. Hello. Amazing President Day. We have one of the best cities in the world, but we are still not number one. There is a magical city that transcends human understanding. I read about it, and it's grand. They say that people live to 150 years and that the sights of the city is awe-inspiring and will bring tears to, of joy to your eyes. We must at least try to be like this wonderful place. If we manage to beat them before the world, before the world, or before the word about the magnificence of their city spread, we might even have a chance. Reach 20,000 city points before the city of Norilsk. Okay. Wow. They're already ahead of us. That's not good. Not good at all. So with city point, okay. So I guess all we have to do is just keep on buying them if we're able to. I'm sure they'll give us some extra missions. 77 season without either a job or a home. I think more jobs would be quite good. Okay. We understand that you are trying to compete with Norilsk. This is unacceptable. Norils is number one and it will remain so. We'll be forced to send you our best diversions until you stop the pointless competition. Minus 60 USSR relations, the USSR will send you rebels every year. God damn. Sir. No doubt there's a rebel threat now. Alright, so there's a couple of things that we can do. Uh, let's just make a speech on religion. This is another good tactic, just... Uh, Neglect one group and just make speeches about them in a forum. Um, and then they'll like you a little bit more from what 5% the religious are, and then we'll move up. The importance of the upcoming elections has brought me before you. We are one step closer to our goals. Victory is almost upon us, but we must still. Push forward. I 
must warn you about the so-called rebels on our island. Those are anarchists who could not care less for this island, but present themselves as its liberators. Because of their nihilistic ways, God has forsaken Tropico in a morally destitute state. Through the years of my presidency, I have received your gratitude, my compañeros. Alas, I am nothing but a humble servant, and you are my masters, my employers. Now I bow to the superior morality of the religious tropicans who absolve our sins in the face of God. Yesterday is gone. Tomorrow will come after the victory. And I have plans for tomorrow. God is my witness that we will build a church in Tropico during my next mandate. A warm embrace to all, especially the ladies. All right, so El Presidente's speech is finished. So you guys could listen to that in all its glory. I'm trying to hire out some more workers for the power plant so I can upgrade these iron mines as well. So they can work a lot more efficiently, extract a lot more stuff out of the ground. And of course, thankfully, all these mines are within range of the power plant. So that's not going to be too much of a worry. But until next time, we'll be back with another episode of Tropico, where we hopefully will My be dear beating Norilsk in city points. They don't really seem to be gaining all that much, and all we need is more money, really. Uh, new building unlocked supermarkets. So you're holding things back from me. Uh, I think this is like, this is using the, interesting, this is using the um, Modern Times DLC. I did not know that. Well, there you go. It's like the first time I've seen that, but we'll be back.